Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So today is the 8th day for our Holy Land tour and today we are going to go to Mount Sinai and Catherine Monastery and we will end our day with the Nile cruise. So before we start our video, let's see some of the highlights. So here we are in Mount Sinai. Actually right now we are in Mount Taba so today we are going to travel from Mount Taba to New Cairo city so the total distance is only 418 km and it will take 5 hours and 4 minutes but because we are visiting Mount Sinai also so we can't follow the straight route so we need to go all the way down South Sinai and we'll visit the Mount Catherine from Taba to Mount Sinai is 180 km. So first we'll visit this area some Mount Sinai and St. Catherine Monastery then only we'll go towards the Cairo. Good morning everyone so this is a view from the Taba Mount so as you can see it's early morning and the view looks very amazing so I want to go out and show you the nice view of the sunrise so let's go So from here also you can see but it's not so nice so we'll go to the big balcony So here in front of me you can see hills and then the Red Sea together with the palm trees and this makes the very beautiful ideal sunrise view. So we are going to start our day with breakfast. So before breakfast, I want to show you a little bit entire part of the hotel. So we are already in Egypt, Mount Taba. So today we are going to travel from Mount Taba to Cairo, Egypt capital. So you can see this amazing beautiful architect inside So see they have so many things to serve us.
so this is our hotel area outside area so now we have started our journey for the day so the first place we are going to go will be Mount Sinai So in between, I'll show you the different landforms which we pass by to go to Mount Sinai. So after traveling for quite long, we reached Catherine Town. So here will be another check post. Then after that, we'll go towards the Mount Sinai, St. Catherine Monastery. The very place where we'll see the burning bush and the well where Prophet Moses met his to be future wife, Sephora. St. Catherine is a town in the South Sinai government of Egypt, situated at the foothills of the mountain, Mount Sinai. The city is the site of St. Catherine Monastery. The city is 1586 meters or 5203 feet above sea level. The St. Catherine area has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Now we are going towards Mount Sinai and the St. Catherine Monastery. So here we have parked our bus. So from here we need to uh, walk for almost 10 minutes. But we are going in small vans because we are a group of 52 people so many people can't walk. So just near the van stops, you will see all these kind of shops and even they have cafe also and they will be selling uh, most of the handmade things, hats and, and other sovereign from Mount Sinai. And they will also sell different varieties of stones. So here you can see we got into the van and now we are going to St. Catherine Monastery. The view looks amazing. 
all these are the Mount Sinai. So this part we'll visit later but first we'll go inside. So here we are in Mount Sinai and we are near to the Horeb, Mount Horeb, it's on the other side and this is St. Catherine Monastery we call it. Inside we have the burning bush and inside we have the well at which Moses when he came ran away from Pharaoh, he met his wife Sipura and then later he married her of course. So we are going to go inside and we are going to see the well where Moses met his wife, future wife, would be wife. And then also we see the burning bush from which God called him to deliver the people of Israelites. Okay, let's go inside. According to the biblical account, the bush was on fire but was not consumed by the flames, hence the name. In the biblical narrative, the burning bush is the location at which Prophet Moses was appointed by Jehovah to lead the Israelites out of Egypt and into Canaan, the Promised Land. So this is believed to be the very place where Prophet Moses had an encounter with Jehovah. And just next to the place you can see this well. So this well is supposed to be the very well where Prophet Moses met his future wife, Sephora. Now they have covered it with glass. And this is the church which they made for the people to come and pray and spend time here. So I want to show you the water. There is still water but due to the reflection the view is not so clear. So you can see this is the whole uh, St. Catherine monastery which they engraved in the stone. So after visiting these two places now we are going out.
we can see, see this beautiful mountain, Mount Sinai. And outside, the small kids, they were selling so many stones. So again, we are going back to the place. So it's just two minutes away from the place. So after visiting this place, we'll go for lunch. Then after that, we'll uh, cross the Swiss Canal and we'll enter into the African continent and we'll stay overnight in Cairo. So the place which you are seeing here is Rephidim. So Rephidim is one of the places visited by Israelites in the biblical account of the Exodus from Egypt. So basically what is Rephidim in the Bible? Rephidim, a stopping place of Israelites on their way from Egypt, situated between the wilderness of Sin and the wilderness of Sinai. So we can see this in Exodus chapter 17 verse 1 and 19 verse 2. And besides just the stopping point, it is also the place where the people of Israel fought with the Amalekites. The battle of Rephidim as described in the Bible was a battle between the Israelites and the Amalekites which occurred in Rephidim while the former was moving towards the promised land. So you can see this beautiful view. The Sinai is not fully of rocks, but you can see the desert also. So it's a combination of both wilderness and desert. So all these landforms are formed by the action of winds. So all these geographical structures you can see very beautiful. And from up we came down towards again the main road and on the right side is all the mountains and the desert. So on our left side you can see fully Red Sea. So Mount Sinai is a combination of both Red Sea and the desert and in the middle goes the road. So after this we went to have our lunch. So after lunch now we are heading to a Swiss canal. So on the way we saw this place. So our tour guide said that this is Mara. In the Bible we see that when the Israelites came to Mara, they could not drink its water because it was bitter. So this is the place where they saw another miracle. So the name Mara means bitterness. The video which you are seeing here, this place is called Elim. So according to the Hebrew Bible, Elim was one of the places where the Israelites camped following their exodus from Egypt. So it is referred to in Exodus chapter 15 verse 27 and Numbers chapter 33 verse 9 as a place where there were 12 wells of water and 70 dead palms and that the Israelites camped there near the waters. So till now you can see this biblical place called Elim. So you can see here, now we are crossing Swiss Canal. Egypt is the country which lies on both the African continent and the Asian continent. So the Mount Sinai 
comes on the Asian continent and the maximum parts of Egypt and Cairo comes on the African continent. So in order to cross from uh, Asian continent to African continent, the only way to go from one continent to another is the Swiss Canal. We are just crossing by this Swiss Canal and we are entering into the African continent, leaving Asian continent. The Swiss Canal is an artificial sea level waterway in Egypt connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea and also the Swiss Canal divides Africa and Asia. So basically we are going to go from one continent to another, from Asia to African continent. So now we are officially in the African continent. So after traveling for quite long, we reached uh, Cairo. So you can see some of the views of the Cairo, the capital of Egypt. So this is one of the big difference we noticed there, the sunrise and the sunset time. So the very amazing thing was the sunset time. So you can see here it's almost 7.54, almost 8 o'clock. So it's still not dark. So see here this is River Nile. So now we are going to the Nile cruise. So our final destination will be Nile cruise. So now we are going to go there. So our cruise name is Andrea. So, I'll show you the cruise from outside. So actually they will have different timings, but we booked for night. So our cruise starts from 8 o'clock, that's why we are going fast. So all these things which you see is inside the cruise. So you can see we have started. So they will perform different activities inside. So this is one of the most popular, their traditional art or dance.
delicious inside the cruise so I'm going to show you just the overall dishes which they served us after having a lot of fun inside the cruise so now the time has come to end the day so now we are going to go to our hotel which is few minutes from this place So this is our hotel and people are taking out their luggages. So our hotel name is the Lotus Hotel. So right now we are in Cairo. So today will be the last day in Egypt. So tomorrow we'll visit a pyramid and few places. Then evening we have our flight.
so this is our room And this is the beautiful view from our balcony. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel for more videos. See you in the next video.